Since 1969, when bilingual education began, uh, we had to emerge with a, an instructional program without adequate preparation for our bilingual teachers. We had certified bilingual teachers, but not in the sense of formal university or academic training. Since that time, we've labored long and hard in terms of trying to provide the type of preparation and training which will enhance the classroom setting and provide us with the quality bilingual instruction that we really want. During this time, we've, we've tried to uh, harness whatever resources we could on a local level in terms of providing specific needs that our teachers had. Uh, this group here represents 30 master's teacher trainees who are participating in a program, a joint program, between the Fort Worth Independent School District and Texas Women's University. Well, after I got into it, I really found out that the Mexicanos in Fort Worth do need Mexicano teachers because I found that uh, I was more of a security to the parents and the kids involved. The kids would look up to me as somebody who, who made it from their neighborhood, their barrio, who's teaching now and is a professional. And my first year, I worked in the school that I went to, so it was it was. I don't know, it was just really great just working with all the kids that I knew all my life. They were there, living there. My second year I worked in a school in a different neighborhood and I didn't know anybody. But my third year, my third year past year, I was a teacher at Carroll Peak Elementary and there I had the same neighborhood where I grew up in again. So again, all my friends' kids are in my room. Children are benefited because they have uh, teachers who speak the same language that they do. And uh, especially in, in, uh, when they're taught how to read, reading is just talk. And if you don't incorporate the dominant language of the child, when you're trying to teach him how to read, he can't relate to it. A bilingual teacher is two teachers in one, but to the extent to where she only has to plan over uh, the regular curriculum t as a regular teacher would. For, uh, for instance, we have to plan in regard to the language part of a curriculum. Uh, English is a second language, Spanish is a second language for the children who speak English in the bilingual program, and then the Spanish language arts, which is a reading program for the monolingual children in our program. So I started in 70, the fall of 70, went to TCU for four and a half years, plus having three children in school and being married, having to tend to all of them, and it was awfully, awfully hard because I had to work harder because my comprehension in school was real bad when I was in elementary school. So I guess I really, I really did strive to make good grades. And um, I really never thought I'd ever make it. But I did. And then again, here comes this master program, and I tried again. And I passed the test again, and here I am again, struggling. But what I think that if I made it with all the comprehension trouble that I had before, I think that anybody could make it, and we need bilingual teachers real bad. The projection or the need for bilingual teachers this year has been estimated at 2,000. We could easily have employed in Fort Worth an additional 30 to 40 bilingual teachers had we had the applications from these applicants. The need for bilingual education teachers at this time is immense.